What is going on guys? It's AJ here at the House of Masks coming at you today on a Monday for another episode of Mailbox Monday. Today is going to be a short episode, but I'm going to uh, kind of make it up at the end with a little collection update video. I've had some people that are requesting updates, so I figured uh, we've only got two things to show for Mailbox Monday, so I would go ahead and give you a little bit of uh, a look at what we've done downstairs so far in the new space and what is to come. So. Um, we are going to do just the mailbox part first. Now this one was delivered to me locally, so you can consider it a mailbox Monday or not. Uh, this is done by a local artist named Cassidy. This is uh, like a stinky painting, and uh, a lot of people would be like, oh no, that's just Slipknot. Clown from Slipknot. Clown from Slipknot does not have this scar. This scar is exclusively on stinky, so it is a stinky piece. She did ask me um, if she could paint a stinky piece, and then uh, yeah. So that's pretty sweet. I'm going to hang that down here. We've got a wall that we're, uh, it's actually right to the left here, that is going to be nothing but like artwork and signatures and pictures of me with uh, other people and just stuff that we've done. So that's where that'll go. It'll probably be the first piece on the wall. So a stinky exclusive here in the House of Max. The next thing I've got is from, it does not say on the box. Here it is. Yeah. Joe Navanti. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And, uh, yeah, we ha I had a bunch of stuff in my mailbox this week, and it was all stuff that I ordered. There was, not like, nothing for Mailbox Monday. This is the only thing, so. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this box. And uh, this, this dude's been messaging me on Instagram for a while about this. He's pretty excited for me to open it, so it makes me excited to open it. Um, it is a mask. I do know that. I do not know what it looks like. Uh, I don't really know anything about it. I think it's his first mask. Um, but he sent me something on Instagram to read when I open this, so we'll open it up, if I can figure it out. Looks like it's a note that's popped to. Okay, so got this note here, and it says, Grave Productions by, no by Joe Navanti presents Grave, which is the name of the mask I assume. It says, hey AJ, finally... Hey AJ, finally you have this thing. If you got to put it on, do it off camera with the help of September. Haha, ha. though. Thank you for the inspiration. Full letter is on Instagram. Sorry, I ran out of time. Okay, so then we will switch to the phone and I will read his letter from Instagram. It says, Dear AJ, this mask has one hell of a story and I'm so happy. It has a home at the House of Masks. Being that this is my first mask, it feels right having it in your hands because you were one of many inspirations. Be careful, the inside is a little sharp. Sorry if you cut yourself on the barbed wire. It's the real deal. It may also be a little fragile, but it's still badass nonetheless. Making the mask, I did not realize the latex shrinks, so it may be a little small. Sorry. If you happen to try it on, I recommend doing it off camera with the help of September simply because it's a death trap. Thank you for being such a cool dude, AJ, and I hope this mask look gr looks great in the collection. If you have any questions, feel free to direct message me. Also, my name on Instagram has officially changed to Grave Productions. So if you like what you see in this box, make sure to go check him out, at Grave Productions on Instagram. Uh, it says, yours truly, Grave, aka, or Grave Productions, aka Joe Navanti. Now, I suck dick at reading today, so I apologize for butchering literally everything that I just said. Um, I don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm sorry. Pull this fella out of here. I like what I see so far. How's that? Pretty brutal, right? I'll bring it around there so you can see it. I love the uh, the collar. Definitely reminds me of some of Goth and Cloth inspiration inspired type stuff there. Should I try to put it on? Let's try to put it on. No September needed. There we go. It is a little snug, but it actually does, uh, it's not uncomfortable. It's not a death trap like you said it would be. 
So there it is. Pretty evil. Definitely reminds me of uh, a goth and cloth stuff. And uh, as far as this being your first mask, man, that's, that's pretty awesome. I'm going to take it off now so you can watch me struggle doing that and then I'll talk some more about it. Yeah, dude, I dig it. I think it's seat. Seat. I think it's seat. I think it's sweet. And uh, if this is your first mask, then you definitely got a knack for uh, what you are trying to do. And uh, latex does shrink, but I think obviously you learned your lesson this time, so your next mask is going to be even better. And uh, you'll just continue to grow as an artist. And obviously it's just a trial and error thing. And uh, yeah, you fucking nailed it. This thing's sweet. If someone was just a little smaller than me, this would be the perfect mask for them, and I feel like you could probably make good money. So yeah, I will definitely keep this in the house of masks, and it'll it'll do good, and I appreciate you sending it to me. So with that being uh, said and done, I'll go ahead and give you guys uh, kind of an overview of the collection space right now. I will let you know what we plan to do in the coming weeks, and... Uh, what is to arrive in the next couple weeks and stuff like that. So. so obviously over here we have not touched at all. You can still see the old workspace stuff. But I'm going to take everything, including the dryer, away from this wall. And uh, it'll just be full of picture frames. and uh, Anything that's signed or that I have framed up pretty much will be in there. Pictures of me with people that I've met and stuff like that. We come over here, we've got the bucket head display which I, I'm not sure if that's the permanent spot, probably not, if I had to guess. I, I, it looks fine there now with the setup that we've got going on, but I highly doubt that it's going to stay like that. Um, over here is the dryer with obviously still some work stuff on it. Um, I want to remove all of this. I want to take that out of the window, and I want to keep these shelves going all the way down, take these stupid lockers out of here and uh, just keep these shelves going. Eventually, this entire corner here is gonna be nothing but Slipknot. Obviously, I've got some stuff out, some stuff on the way, and some stuff that I just don't have room for right now. Um, so I've displayed it with just some randoms, like some ghosts and stuff like that. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a couple distortions pieces. Uh, but eventually, I want everything from this side all the way over into this corner to be nothing but Slipknot. And uh, the gas masks, any said masks will move and actually go on the on the rest of the shelves that are going to go up. So um, these I just don't have room for them right now. I got some cases that don't have anything in them. Um, just kind of like some sticker uh, sticker whatever you call it here. Place to keep all those. Um, I've got like my traveling box. This has like all the socks and the uh, windbreaker and the shorts and the shoes and stuff and face paint. Pretty much anything that I would wear to a convention or concert, that box goes with me. Um, got an empty display case here. I wonder what that could be for. You might have to find out later this week. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. You guys have seen all the Slipknot stuff here. Uh, this ghost stuff on the bottom will go with the rest of the ghost stuff and it will move. We've got posters that I have, don't have anywhere to put, so they're all on the floor. I think just about all of those are Slipknot posters, uh, like a frame that I don't have any anything to go in or whatever. Just There's just so much shit that I don't have any room for right now. Um, the old masks. You guys have seen all this stuff. I don't think you've seen this yet. I've actually uh, cleared this out, and any little knickknacks and stuff that come on the fan art or the uh, Mailbox Mondays I throw in here. And it's pretty random, but I actually enjoy the way that it looks. Some fan art. Why do I keep saying fan art? Some Mailbox Monday masks. Man, I'm a fucking mess. You guys are going to think I'm on drugs or something. I'm just high on life. We've got this case. I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. It's definitely not going to stay here. Um, all my Joey's. I'm getting ready. I don't know if you guys saw it on Instagram or not, but I'm going to be doing like a big Joey display. Um, pretty much, I want every mask that he wore. I'm going to have a full-size Joey uh, from the Gods of Metal concert with that mask there and that jumpsuit. Uh, so that should be pretty awesome whenever I start to set up. But once again, I need room. This is the door that goes to the outside uh, area, which is actually still inside. It's just more outside than inside or whatever. Uh, but I started taping letters and stuff up from you guys on that door. So if you see that in the back of the, of the video, that is where your letters will go. 
This is another random wall of masks. Once again, I'm not happy with where the guar stuff is, and I have more guar stuff that can't be displayed because of room. So, um, I got my banner for conventions and stuff there. Yeah, um, this is all stuff to get ready for conventions. I got like magnets and contracts and uh, boxes of business cards. Got this folder full of uh, important information. Another random shelf here, like some B-something stuff on it, just uh, random stuff. Got Papa here, thugging out over the collection. Uh, today's Mailbox Monday trash, and here's boxes full of t-shirts. This is behind the bucket head display. Got jumpsuits, figures I don't have anywhere to put. Once again, I am out of room. Um, but that's pretty much it for right now. I am literally just waiting for room as soon as we have uh, the go on expanding. I will. Obviously, I hate seeing the collection this small, and it might not seem small to some of you guys that are new here, but if you look back to when I had the collection all in my front room, it was bursting at the seams. It was at least double this size, uh, but there's so much stuff I want to display. Um, I have like a Silicone Freddy. Pretty much all my serial killer stuff is upstairs. I mean, I got two Myers down here, but I probably have 10 Myers masks. Um, I got more TCM stuff upstairs I want to display, a bunch of full-size stuff, and uh, I just don't have the room for it, and I know that my content may be looking a little dry, but I just can't post new things if I don't have the room for new things. So I'm trying. I'm pushing for it. I appreciate all your guys' support and love and attention to the page, and uh, we're getting there, slowly but surely, and eventually this place will be a sight to see for sure. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, I appreciate it. Hopefully we we'll see you back for next Monday. If not, we will just wait until we can. And uh, yeah, take care.